Hi everyone. So now we are going to talk like the continuation of uh, that the magnetic field due to a circular current carrying coil. So look at this. Here this is very important. So like when when there is a circular coil and we want to find out the magnetic field at point B, some earlier in point T, somewhere here, then B X curve is that is the magnetic field versus X. X is the distance from the center. Okay. So that curve is it, it looks like this. Okay, it looks like this. So look at this. So here, uh, one one important point you have to note: inflation point. Inflation point. What is inflation point? Inflation point is nothing but it is like when when the curve changes its nature. That point is known as inflation nature. When curve changes its nature, how do we find out that? It's a pure mathematical concept. That is dx by uh, dv by dx we will find out, and if it is a constant, then dv d square v by dx square will be zero. Okay, this idea we can use it here. So somewhere here we can find out that the curve it changes its nature to straight line. So that is what the inflation point, and we will find out that is point that is uh, plus or minus r by two, and we will find out the magnetic field at that point also. That is not that important. Anyways, we can find out that four mu zero i, four mu zero i divided by five root five, five root five r. So this is what is the relation. And inflation point is when there is at the point where the curve changes its nature. Okay. So that is what is this one. Okay. All right. Next year we have discussed this. That is the direction of magnetic field. How do we find out the direction? Of magnetic field, it's very important. We, even in problems, it is very important. So how how, how it affects the problem? I will I will uh, show you with an example. Okay, first one, right hand thumb rule, right? Right hand thumb rule. What is that? If look at this. If the current is moving upwards, if the current is moving upwards, is a straight current carrying current, then take your right hand and keep it like this. So we know that the current direction is up. So thumb shows. Thumb shows the current direction, and the magnetic field will be in this direction. So, in practically, you would think that oh, what is the significance of this? Like, uh, how, how, like the direction is just like this, right? But how does it change when the, when the direction of current changes? Okay, so that I will explain. So, first of all, you have to know what is the right right hand thumb rule, and again, right hand palm rule and right hand thumb rule for a circular coil both are same. So that is, for example. There, there, there is a circular coil like this. Okay, I have to draw a big one. Ah, so current is moving like this. Current is going like this. And what about here? Current will be in this direction. Okay, is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? Ah, it's clockwise, right? It's not anti-clockwise. So again, what I'm going to do is, so I take my hand like that, and I keep, I keep my all four fingers. In the direction of current, and what will be my thumb? My thumb represents, or my thumb shows the direction of magnetic field. So, what is the direction here? This is current. What is the direction here? Inside. Okay, into the paper. Into the paper. We represent that uh, close with into the paper dot outwards. Okay. What about the direction here? Here. Okay. Okay. So, my uh, four fingers current. Thumb, this one. Okay. So that is the right hand thumb rule for circular coil or right hand palm rule. And next one, Fleming's left hand rule. This is all of your work because without knowing this, you can't even like survive magnetic effects of electric current. So what is Fleming's left hand rule? So take the left hand, and this is for when a when a charge, a moving charge, enters the magnetic field. What? How would be the direction? So that is what is Fleming's left hand rule. So you all know that that is why I have discussed over there. So that's why uh, I want to record it. I want to make you record it. And uh, look at this here, F B I. I I will always remember that F B I. So force B magnetic field I current or F B B you can use when uh, or right hand rule for means like in electromagnetic induction that we will discuss F B I. Always remember that. So then you can use it. I think you all are able to use it, right? Yeah. Fine. So I will give you one example. 
So this one, by using this one example, uh, whether you can you can do it or not, you just uh, think about it. Okay, all right.